Helldivers 2 has been lighting it up. I mean, that much is evident, but just by how much? Well, we might have a little info on that one, as well as a bunch of new info being dropped by the CEO, which is always great to see. Welcome to the channel. I am Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and this game is f***ing great. I mean, it gives me Outriders vibes, but open world, and if you've seen my past content, you know I loved Outriders. Anyways, this one's about Helldivers 2, and Johan, the CEO of Arrowhead Games, has again been busy over on Twitter, even hinting at swords coming to the game. Remember to hit subscribe and ring the notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts, and here's the latest madness from Helldivers 2. All right, as always, I have included chapters so you can jump around and or repeat different sections of this one. And we need to start off with the AFK player issue. And this goes hand in hand with the server player counts. But to start off with, Arrowhead implemented a patch to fix some known issues and included in there was a functionality that will kick players who remain idle for 15 minutes back to the title screen. Now, of course, this was being used by those players because when you could get into a server, which by the way was really difficult, you didn't want to leave it because it would take you forever to log back in. So these players were getting in a few rounds and then just walking away, leaving their systems on and taking up a server spot. This was of course a major issue, so the second part of this was to try to increase the server capacities, which by the way was woefully too little at launch, sitting in the 400,000s. Well, over the past weekend, it was boosted up to 750,000 players, and then again up to 800,000, and I logged a decent amount of time over this weekend and never had an issue logging in, even during peak hours. So yeah, it seems to have worked. Now, server issues and boosted server capacity, it all kind of hints towards Helldivers 2 selling really well, and we don't yet have exact player counts, like what we've seen in the past with, say, PAL World when it was hitting those player milestones, you know, they would post that over on Twitter. But we do have Steam DB and specifically VG Insights, which I've communicated with and leaned on in the past for their sales figures concerning Ark Survival Ascended. They have an internal recording system that takes a few factors into consideration, but according to their latest projections, Helldivers 2 on Steam alone has sold 5.3 million units and grossed over 170 million US dollars. Now, there are some reports saying that PC accounts for 60% of the overall sales for Helldivers 2, and if this is true, then it is dangerously close to cresting the 10 million players mark worldwide. Now onto that teaser of swords and of course the issue of melee and just how anemic it feels in the live game, causing players to choose to just walk backwards while reloading before killing a target versus pushing the advance using melee. And this question was raised over on Twitter. Can we get swords? Melee needs more zest, which by the way, I completely agree with. And here's where Johan, CEO of Arrowhead, actually responded back. He said, Haha, I love swords. Drive me closer. I want to hit them with my sword. He also says Felix, the art director, and Mick, hopefully I'm saying that correctly, the game director, got into an argument about how sensible this is. We'll see what the result is with a popcorn emoji. The fact that it seems to be a topic up for discussion over at Arrowhead is truly awesome news. I mean, I personally love melee gameplay. I've even remapped my melee keybinds to use just the left mouse button for Warframe because, you know, it just never gets old. Melee's awesome. And to get something like that in Helldivers 2, like a freaking glowing plasma sword that could be a viable option for attack would be insane. And since friendly fire is always on, yeah, think of the mishaps and accidents that would happen if a player just cuts loose with one of those things too close to a squad mate. I could see clips of this just popping up all over the place. Anyways, let me know what you think about an actual melee weapon mechanic coming to the game. What type of weapons would you like to see in Helldivers 2? Leave me a comment and let's have some laughs. I mean, we already have massive machine guns and anti-material rifles strapped to our backs. Why not something like the Buster Sword from Final Fantasy? 
Moving over to the topic of the game's performance and my rig, pushing a 4090 and full 4K ultra badass settings seems to have no issues running Helldivers, but I know that there's a bigger debate going on out there in the community about DLSS, FSR3, along with a lot of misinformation surrounding the whole thing. So the point was raised about DLSS, to which Johan actually responded over on Twitter, DLSS, cool tech but not necessary. If you code time over, I prefer to put that to good use, focusing on the core gameplay as it's what is most important for a game to be successful. This way of thinking seems to have paid off. Now, his comment was then taken and run with, leading the post saying that DLSS is not coming to Helldivers 2. Johan then fired off a follow-up clarifying that the statement was, again, not true, and that he loved DLSS and other performance-boosting tech, but when he's in a priority meeting and it's more awesome content versus more tech, the decision is easy. Now, on a side note, this level of honesty and clarity is really good to see in the gaming space. Answers are given, thoughts are said out loud, and if something is posted that is incorrect, he and the rest of the staff at Arrowhead seem to just jump all over it and get it handled right then and there. So, DLSS is not off the table. Same with FSR3, but it looks like Arrowhead will wait to have them both ready to go and release them simultaneously. Also, it may not even be a priority, as Johan also responded to the exact thought, stating that, quote, most of the performance load is on the CPU since we simulate everything. Huh, maybe finally having a Threadripper Pro is going to pay off for me, but I've got to say that I don't see performance issues with this game. I mean, not at all. As I said, anywhere from 80 to 120 FPS, depending on what is going on with the battles, you know, like particle effects, etc. But for those that don't have that kind of PC rig, I can see the desire for super sampling tech, although I don't know how well it will work with Helldivers. I guess we're going to have to wait and see on that one. Another really interesting topic, more a way of playing the game, would come down to stealth, which, you know, kind of flies in the face of this game because it's all about earth-shaking, ear-splintering explosions, gunfire, and of course the screams of your characters. But there has been a question of stealth gameplay becoming a viable option, and personally, I don't know how this would work. But there was a response made back at the question of stealth where, again, Johan posted... I know, I used to rock subsonic ammo and suppressor and do this quite a bit during playtest. And instantly you want to ask a million follow-up questions. How would that work with alerting enemies as you approach them from behind? Would there be some sort of triple or quadruple damage modifier when attacking undetected? And you know, all of those stealth optionals we've seen with previous games. I'm not convinced this would work, but it's definitely worth a thought. Let me know where you stand on using stealth gameplay tactics in Helldivers 2. Anyways, a lot of little bits of info for you today, including that idea of swords coming to the live game, which I'm not going to lie would be sick. Remember to hit subscribe and ring the notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts. All my socials can be found in the video description. Shout out to the nearly 194,000 of you that have stuck with me, and I would love to have you along as we make that last little push up to 200,000 subscribers. So join the channel. It's free and would be greatly appreciated. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.